Hey what's up guys welcome back in this video I'll explain you the concept of augmented reality so according to wikipedia's definition augmented reality is a technology that superimposes computer generated images on a user's view of the real world thus providing a composite view now obviously the above definition was a bit difficult to understand so let me explain augmented reality or ar in simple terms The word augmented is basically originated from the word augment which means to add something. So in augmented reality technology we are augmenting something or we are adding something inside the real world. That is we are adding a computer generated 2D graphics or 3D objects inside a real world. Now for viewing these computer generated graphics you either require an handheld device for example a smartphone or an heads up display. For example Microsoft HoloLens or Meta 2 devices like HoloLens put augmented reality objects straight in front of your face the HoloLens and Meta 2 heads up display are way too costly when compared with smartphone devices HoloLens is currently priced at $3000 and Meta 2 is priced at $1500 the best example of augmented reality is the Pokemon Go game In this game you first have to move to a particular location where the pokemon is located and upon reaching that place you can see a pokemon image inside your smartphone through the smartphone's camera for experiencing augmented reality inside your smartphone your smartphone must contain a camera sensor gps sensor accelerometer sensor and compass sensor on top of this your smartphone should also have significant processing power that is it must have good cpu gpu ram etc the heads up devices like hololens also consist of all these sensors so after explaining you augmented reality in simple terms next let's look at the different types of augmented reality so augmented reality can be classified in four types marker based augmented reality markerless augmented reality projection based augmented reality and superimposition based augmented reality In marker based augmented reality system you have to keep a marker in front of the smartphone's camera the marker can be in the form of a QR code or a 2D image when this marker is recognized by the camera we can see a digital 3D object or virtual object on top of this marker marker based augmented reality system is also referred as image recognition augmented reality as we are basically recognizing an image over here next we have the markerless augmented reality Markerless augmented reality as the name suggest do not require any marker or image for its working but instead it detects the surface plane that is the floor and on top of the surface plane we can place augmented objects Markerless augmented reality is also used in location based AR applications Pokemon Go is the best example of markerless AR as the Pokemon Go takes input from the GPS sensor of your smartphone and when you reach at the place where the pokemon is shown in the map you can see the digital pokemon image next we have the projection based augmented reality so projection based augmented reality basically requires a small projector and this projector projects light on any surface google glass is example of projection based ar google glass consisted of a mini projector which would project light on a small prism and because of this we were able to see augmented data like time weather information and even location data in front of our eyes a couple of years back i had written an article on my website covering the working of the google glass you can check the link in the resource section to know more about the working of the google glass the fourth type of augmented reality is superimposition based augmented reality superimposition based augmented reality is also called as object tracking augmented reality In superimposition based augmented reality we replace the original view of the object with a new augmented view for example projecting a car 3d model on top of an actual car object so guys i hope from this video you would have understood the basics of augmented reality and in the next video i'll first explain you what is virtual reality and then we will look at the differences between augmented reality and virtual reality